Avoidance do not handle stress or crisis well at all. Whenever there's a life stress, some sort of crisis, could be a death in the family, financial crisis, a health scare, they tend to get overwhelmed and that is the precise moment where they often discard a partner. Keep in mind, avoidance find a relationship as a source of stress, not stress relief. And an emotionally available person will find the relationship as a source of stress relief. During times of crisis, during stress, lean into your partner for the closeness, the companionship, the love, the bond, viewing that as a source of stress relief, that you can rely on your person and lean into them when you need them. An avoidant leans out, and that's because the relationship is a source of stress for the avoidant. Keep in mind, this is a person that was emotionally neglected as a child and their feelings were routinely dismissed. They weren't able to express themselves and nobody showed them how to deal with emotions, deal with stress. They don't feel safe being vulnerable because they couldn't be vulnerable with anybody as a child. Fast forward to being an adult, they still don't have the skill set to manage and cope with stress, anxiety. And being in a relationship makes them feel pressured pressured to be vulnerable, pressured to be emotionally available, pressured to give something of themselves to their partner. This causes stress and anxiety for the avoidant. Now, when other life stressors happen, when there's a crisis of some sort, like I said, it could be a death in the family, and especially if it's the death of a close family member of the avoidant, suddenly now they are overwhelmed and they look to stress dump. They look to relieve themselves of stress. It's hard to cut out family. They can't cut out finances, can't cut out the job. So they look to the most disposable item in their life, which is the relationship. And that can lead to an abrupt discard out of nowhere. Everything was going wonderfully. You thought you met your person. Then something stressful happens. They shut down, get cold, distant, and end the relationship. And it is absolutely traumatic and blindsiding. You wanted to be there for them, but they pushed you away, immediately giving you nothing but vague excuses that they just overwhelmed, they're not ready for a relationship, they just need time and space to work on themselves. But ultimately, what they're doing is they're trying to relieve themselves of stress because being in the relationship with you caused them stress. But that's not your fault. If you were consistent, loving, emotionally available partner, and they pushed you away during a time of stress, that's a reflection of them. That's a reflection of their unhealed attachment wounds as well as their character. It's not a reflection of you or anything that you did wrong. This is a person that's emotionally unavailable. Part of emotional availability is the ability and willingness to empathize with your partner, to feel their feelings along with them. When they're doing this, they're not empathizing with you. They're not even considering your feelings. They're thinking of themselves and whatever it is that they perceive they want, need, feel, or fear in the moment. They're only thinking of themselves. They're not trying to hurt you, but they're not going out of their way to not hurt you either. They're inherently selfish in that mindset because when they're triggered, they're only really able to think of themselves and it's because of their own insecurities. They are looking to self-soothe but that's not a reflection of you at all. And if you got pushed away and abruptly discarded during a time of crisis or a stressful event, don't blame yourself. Because if you're blaming yourself, you're just pushing yourself further into anxiety, into anxious attachment. You can't control other people and you're certainly not responsible for their childhood attachment wounds. You prioritize them. When there's a stressful event, you look to lean into them. They look to lean out. That is not your fault. Don't blame yourself. You wouldn't have done it to them and you certainly didn't deserve it being done to you.